guys, it's Laura Lee. I have a terrible glare in my glasses right now, but <laughs> we are back for another episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. We're on episode 7, and things are not looking great for this series staying on YouTube. I mean, I still want to do it because everyone's been begging for it so much, but the problem is every video gets blocked, and almost worldwide, and it's it's getting a little... It's, it's getting a little, it's bugging me. It's bugging me. <laughs> um, yeah, Viacom is not my friend, but I'm trying to think of a solution and the solution I have now isn't totally great. I don't know if people will be up for it. I'll make a separate video about that at another time. But right now, we are ready for some Avatar. And last episode was, uh, a while back for me, that was one of the ones I recorded before hiatus. It was uh, episode six, and it was they visited an earthbending tribe and found out that the Fire Nation had been uh, imprisoning earthbenders. Um, and Katara got in her head to empower the earthbenders and help them set themselves free. But in that process, she lost her necklace that her mom had given her. And now Zuko has it, and he's following them. So, I think that's a decent recap, and uh, we should probably just get into it. So, here we go. That is a pretty bird. Kind of reminds me of Scissor Tails. so big, soft, caught in a heap. Maybe you should give it a try. You're hilarious. <laughs> try it? <laughs> Perpetually ten years old. <laughs> Turns out clouds are made of water. <laughs> Momo. Mmm. Hey. Forest fire. Hey, you're not Why would anyone do this? How could I let this happen? Gyatso said that happens. Actually, occasional fires can help refresh the earth, but it's uh I don't think that's <laughs> pertinent here. I don't Uncle Iroh! Over here, Uncle. Join me in these hot springs and soak away your troubles. My troubles He's the best. Be soaked away. It's time to go. <laughs> you should take your teacher's advice. I want that on a placard. My troubles cannot be soaked away. Just right. Enough. Bring a spritz sneeze out of his nose. Get out of the water. Are you ready to be cheered up? No. Ow. That cheering. That means the forest will grow back. Every one of these will be a tall oak tree someday, mm -hmm. and all the birds and animals that lived here will come back. For the last few days at sunset, a spirit monster comes and attacks our village. Oh. He is Abai. You are the great bridge between man and spirits. Right. <laughs> That's me. Hey, He's also ten. Guy. Can I talk to you over here? You seem a little unsure about all this. Yeah, yeah. That might be because I don't know anything at all about the spirit world. A meadow ball. Oh, you startled me, little one. You cute. Oh. Fire nation soldier, but now he's our prisoner. Well, he did fall asleep in strange territory. It's, it is kind of on him. And turn around. I'm the Avatar and I would like to help. Hey, wait up! Yeah, I don't think normal speaking is gonna help anything. He just straight up took Sokka. Sokka! Hang on, Sokka! He just took Sokka to the spirit world, didn't he? Oh! Sokka! 
What? And I was tired. <sighs> and I'm still tired. I was like, you did not do that. For, yeah. Sure that Katara? Katara, I lost him. Aang's in the spirit world. Is rising. Perhaps he will return soon. What? No, I'm right here. I'm in the spirit world. Dun dun dun. <laughs> yeah. Saga? That's definitely not Saga. Guess there are a lot more <gasps> spirit monsters in the spirit world. There's also probably no wind. You're Avatar Roku's animal guide. Like Appa is to me. I need to save my friend, and I don't know how. Is there some way for me to talk to Roku? I'll be back, Katara. This is cool. Take me to Roku. <sighs> What's the problem? Nothing. the most elegant escape, but it works. Hey, what are you doing? No! Your spirit. Is that what Roku wants to talk to me about? A comet? When can I talk to him? But I can't wait that long. I need to save Sokka now. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what the spirit world tells you to do. The Avatar. Oh, that's where his body was. These dangerous hands must be crushed. Whoa! <laughs> Uh, that's true, but you are clearly outmatched. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who to root for. <laughs> so I'm just gonna enjoy the fight. Whoa. Oh. The spirit of this forest. Now I understand. Oh, the you're upset bear. You're angry because your home was burned down. <laughs> Sokka! Aww. I did have a little help. And there's something else. And if I go there on the solstice, I'll be able to speak with him. But the solstice is tomorrow. Oh, well, yeah, you better get on up and go. The island is in the Fire Nation. Oh. Okay. That is a little problematic. Cool. So that was that was an interesting episode. Um, this is the first time we've gotten to the spirit world side of things. Um. Uh, I hadn't been too familiar with how this show interacts with the spirit world, but this was a nice little introduction. Um, the Guardian of the Forest bit was real cool. Um, though you'd think a Guardian of the Forest wouldn't have to be reminded that the trees are going to grow back. You'd think that you know that trees grow back, but... Say la vie. Um, it was more interesting to see how... Aang was able to cross over and meet the previous Avatar's uh, spirit guide. And, like, that that whole 
bit of mythology was just real cool and I'm looking forward to see where it's gonna go with him meeting the previous avatar should things go well. The um, thing with Iroh and Zuko was also interesting because I didn't know who to root for because this is the kind of show where like you get to know the quote-unquote villains um, more and like even though you get you kind of get to see both sides and see like the humanity of both sides and therefore I didn't know who to root for in that fight so I just enjoyed it and uh yeah there's like I said there's not like a whole lot to talk about with these early episodes I do uh think this one was definitely one of the more interesting ones that we've gotten because it seems to tie into a bigger plot rather than just like a stop deal with this one thing move on like little tiny tidbits along their travel but um i uh, i definitely enjoyed this one a lot more and i'm looking forward to see where this plot line's gonna go as this was a uh, part one so to be continued and uh yeah so thank you guys for watching i love you so much check out discord uh social media patreon all that good stuff I will get back to you on what we're going to do about future Avatar reactions, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!